Okay. And Andrani asked me to pick up six cans of Sprite at the grocery store, mm -hmm. but I picked seven up. Okay. Juice! Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions of Corbin. I'm ready. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, today we have a new trailer that dropped from our dosty of dosed, Rajkumar Rao. Hey! Uh, and it's called Bead. Or Bead. I Bead? saw that. Bead. So many times I have to skip by because the majority of our, our dosts and our nun bars and bundus and we, we, we... Bondu. Yeah, that too. Um, <laughs> they post stuff. So I saw this on Rajkumar's mm -hmm. ad, but I had a, just a quick like, speed by, because I knew it was going to be... Info we'd probably be reacting to. Uh, oh, and uh, uh, Bhumi Pednikar. Yeah, and this is the director, I do believe. Anupav Sinha. Uh, and this is, I believe, a true story of some sort, but uh -huh. let's let the trailer tell us before I read anything here. All right. And here we go. Oh no. Yeah, I'm so tired of working with you, Salma Ji. If you don't give up, then you'll be different. This shutting down all the state borders, Bita. Don't give up. 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 Is this for COVID? Hey, that. That's Shahid's dad. Hey, that. 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 Hey, Mother, <laughs> 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 Oh. Rajkor just gave me fucking chills, bro. Ah, oh, that looks like art. Yep, is what that looks like. There's a lot to unpack there. Sure is. Man. Um, whoo! if that was a a Hollywood film, and I don't know how the film is, but that would be coming out around December. Because that seems like a very and it's super interesting that he's decided to do it in black and white. Yeah, that's super interesting. Yeah, very that's, interesting. That's a choice. Nah. That is a that is a choice. What do you think about the trailer? I thought it was powerful. I thought it was, um, it it I obviously not knowing the whole story and not knowing the screenplay, it really feels like they gave you everything you needed to know without giving too much away, and with this cast you know what you're going to get. You particularly know what you're going to get if you are a fan of, and if you're not, you should be, of Rush Kumar Rao. 
He's at a place in his career where he can make decisions on what he wants to do versus what a lot of actors have to do, especially who are developing, is is just be thankful for the work that they get. And just take anything that's thrown their way. He's in a position where people want him to be working on things and he can be very selective. Mm -hmm. And the choices he consistently makes are always, for Corbin and I, the kinds of films as an actor you want to be making. They have great script, great character, important messages that have some connection to society that holds up a mirror, either to show the great things or to show the things that need to be changed. Yeah. And this just feels like it's just loaded with that and so i'm super excited because the director is the director of article 15 right which we in, was a powerful film great film and but i he also directed other films that i know are of that same ilk uh -huh. that we just haven't gotten to yet right there's thapped right. which is with topsy mm -hmm. uh there's mulk mm -hmm. which is another one that i heard a lot about that yeah. people have wanted us to watch yeah uh, and i think that yeah, that's also topsy and, and rishi yeah uh and i think that's one of rishi's most powerful performances um and then there was a, I thought there was another one that I, Anak, uh, was that last year? Anyways, he's known for doing these, um, I guess it would be construed as political, but they're not really political. It's just because if you tell a story in a certain way, people think you're taking a stand in a certain way. Uh, if, right. if you don't agree with the other. No, you and, know. And there's, a, there's a difference between... Article 15 is considered political. Correct. <laughs> However, there's a difference between films that are um, not about politics. But right. There's political films that are making it really clear by the creators. Here's where we stand politically and we are antagoniz antagonizing the opposition with th this particular movie. Um, I consider um, what was the movie I did not like that. Which one? The DiCaprio film about climate change. But it's oh, a uh, don't look over. up. Yeah, don't look up. I. I, I never That's saw one of those films. Um, it's very heavy-handed in gotcha. terms of it's it's uh, we're the liberal left and all of the conservative rights are assholes and morons and idiots, and yeah. and and it's 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 not so much about the issue as it is the combatants and we're on the right side of the, gotcha. the story. Whereas when you're telling a story that does involve politics. Yeah. But what you're looking for is the universal truth that irrespective of where you're coming from politically, we should all be looking at the reality of just human need and human compassion and not the politics of it, not the economics of it, that, that the most important thing in here. And he seems to obviously, like most of his films, he is the conscience of the story. And I, if it's a true story, which it, well, it is, I... Well aware of what happened in India during the um, obviously when COVID the immediate knockout uh, and obviously the, when the borders closed and then um, and the, obviously the people that are always affected by everything are usually the poorest. Of course, always because the the people in power and and the rich don't give two shits because nope. they, they're not affected usually because no. they have the money to leave they have the money to they're expendable you know, whatever yeah the poor uh, are expendable to them and so it's usually the poor mm -hmm. uh, and obviously this is a, a big thing I, I don't the ins and outs I don't know which is why I'd be excited to to learn some of the and I, ins and outs and I bet it's going to be done in a way that will show you not just we're right you're wrong I bet we're going to have moments where something's done that is at first blush, totally inhumane. Mm -hmm. Yet, the people doing it that maybe Raj Kumar is against are going to give you some arguments that make you go, oh, wow, crap, they have a point. Yeah. Not uh, that it's right, but it makes it much more complicated. To have an actor of Raj Kumar and, and obviously, um, uh, oh. Pankaj, which is... Which yes, is, uh, great Pankaj to see Kapoor, him. sorry. Well, and, uh, and uh, uh, Bendiker. Boomi, yeah. Yeah, Boomi. Uh, she's always good. But somebody of Raj Kumar's caliber... He showed it just in the trailer. They give a little glimpse uh, multiple times, but especially there at the end of like a, a really heartfelt plea yeah. of Raj Kumar's character, which gave me chills there at the end. He's very much, if I was going to make a comparison, not stylistically in terms of his persona, but stylistically in terms of the choices he makes and the mm -hmm. characters he plays, he's, he's the Jimmy Stewart and if you don't Jim, know... Jimmy if, Stewart? If you don't That's know, a weird comparison. Well, if you don't know Jimmy Stewart's filmography much better than Jimmy Stewart. No, no, no. I'm not talking about I again, I wasn't talking about the style of of his acting okay. per se. Okay. I'm talking about the stories he tells and who his characters are in mm. those stories. Okay. 
Jimmy Stewart always was the conscience of the film. He played the attorney fighting to right or wrong. Okay. He played the good guy who's getting shafted and shouldn't be and standing up for the little guy. Gotcha. Um, that also, that that's just, that was very much what Jimmy Stewart's hallmark was. He was always the frustrated moral compass who was fighting against a system that was unjust. And, and he didn't have a... He wasn't James Cagney. He wasn't going to blow the doors down. He was the guy who was trying to be compassionate, and if you pushed him too far, he'd lose it, but he didn't want to lose it. You know, it's uh, crazy. Um, and I agree. I, 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 originally, I didn't get the comparison. Because no, that's what I meant. <laughs> Rosh Kumar is a thousand percent better of an actor than Jimmy Stewart is. Jimmy, Jimmy Stewart's quite a good actor. Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> but the um, this comes out, I think, the 24th, and then the next week, I think that Ronnie film comes out about the versus oh Norway. yeah <laughs> so that's two back film, to back back to back hard to watch films i bet <laughs> but that's all it's right like great art exactly great and it's art. I'm, I'm super interested to see the reasoning behind yeah. he chose black and yeah, white. yeah i'm very interested in the tonality um maybe because everything at the time looked so bleak maybe like um he didn't want he didn't maybe want to see people's different colors yeah it won't i don't know it won't surprise me if it's multifaceted i bet it has to do with the bleakness of it the sense of everybody's the same everybody's yeah, the lack of optimism maybe. it's a storm everybody's the same i think it also is going to go into a complex story about there is right and wrong however things do get gray and how do you overcome like on the one hand you need to be humane on the other hand what do you do? There's so many times those kinds of decisions have to be made legally, politically, uh, humanitarian. Uh, I'm very, very excited to watch Me this. Too. Me too. Very this looks excited. Looks great. Uh, anyways, let us know what you thought about the trailer. And also, I know the, this director has other films that I've been meaning. They've been on my list for a long time. Thapt and Mulk, specifically. Yeah, I remember those. Um, those two have been on my list for a while. And I know they're divisive as well, especially Mulk, because I think it's a specific political issue that certain people agree on one side right so, but it's, right and it's very interesting i did see this director uh in early in his career directed raw one which is that shavro khan superhero movie <laughs> and well, so i'm guessing that was like maybe one of his like things like here's here's the shavro oh, khan movie prove yourself absolutely. and then he started doing what he wanted to do. well it's like like we said he's at a position now where he can do the films he wants to do mm -hmm. versus just doing anything that you so you can just be working exactly yeah absolutely anyways let us know what you thought about the trailer down below